Hello, hello, YouTube. Quest 151, back at it again. Yo, today is a special, special Thursday. I've said it before. I said it at the end of April. But Thursdays in May are all about collections and mysteries and surprises. And so today, we are going to go through my friend's old Pokemon card collection. Um, actually, it's her only Pokemon card collection. Uh, it's, it's, it's a mix mash of... Lots of collections, like her old cards, my friend's old cards, um, her brother's old cards, and my old cards. See, a couple years ago, uh, I had found like a, f a few binder pages that were um, the remnants of my old Pokemon card collection. The last cards that I remember buying and pulling from Booster Packs and Chinatown and whatnot. And I wasn't doing anything for uh, ab with it. It was just sitting there, it was in my closet for a long time, and my friend had asked me uh, if she could have them because she was trying to collect, like, you know, hollows and stuff like that. She was just, like, putting together her binder and just like, oh, it'd be nice to have. I'm like, alright, cool, I'll give it to you. Not a big deal, right? I wasn't doing anything with it. Cut fast forward to about seven months ago where I was like, yo... I was, I was watching all these Pokemon YouTube opening channels, and I was like, I want to get back into that. So I got back into it, and here we are, and, you know... After hearing all these things and looking at research and looking at things that are uh, priced online and eBay and stuff like that, I was starting to look at prices and I was specifically remembering the set uh, Team Rocket Returns from the EX era. And I specifically remembered that I had cards from that set and they were super hard to find. They were priced really, really... They were priced higher than average cards, right? They were, like, on Wizards of the Coast era, like, you know, base set, that kind of level. Not really, like, first, but, like, unlimited edition base set. That kind of um, pricing. And I was like, yo, where are these cards? I know I had them. So I asked my friend. I was like, hey, do you still have these cards that I gave you a while back? And she said yes. And I was like, yo, can I see them? I want to know which ones I had in that collection that I gave to you. She was like, sure. She was like, do you want to use my binder for a video? And I was like, absolutely. I'm going to do that. And so I haven't thought about what clickbaity title that I'm going to use yet. But I'm going to go through this collection. I'm going to see what she's got. And we will see what she has and what, you know, they could be priced at. I'm going to use the TCG, TCG player price points as well as maybe some recent listings on eBay at the time of editing because I'm recording this ahead of time because I've had her collection for like about a month now and I want to get back to her soon. So I'm going to record it, but it won't be uploaded until May. Hence, the same t-shirt as the one that I, you know, recorded with back at the end of April. So without further ado, let's get into these cards. Um, so here's the binder right here. We're just going to go page by page and see what we got. And what we have right here are a bunch of sleeves that look old. And it looks like some of them have a bunch of uh, cards, multiple cards in a page. Okay, you know what? I need to ask my friend something. Okay, I just messaged my friend and I asked her if I could, one re-sleeve her cards because some of them uh, like I took a quick look at these uh, the trainers don't have sleeves on them at all and they're hollow cards so one if I could re-sleeve her cards and two if I could give her new binder pages because I have a bunch of binder pages sitting around and she said yes and gave me her seal of approval so I have gloves for when I handle her cards I have binder pages that I'm going to give it to her. I'm going to use that to redo all of her binder pages because they look kind of old. So I'm like, they're kind of old. Let's, let's you know, partially because some of these are my cards too. I'm like, yo, let's put these in really good condition for storing. And uh, I got some KMC sleeves uh, for storing just in case. So. One eternity later. Okay, everyone. So I did a little bit of a cut because I started to like take cards out and sleeve them. Blah, 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 and it ended up taking a lot longer than I thought it would. So instead of making this an hour like long process of like going through the cards and like sleeving them blah, 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 blah. No, I just did I just did all the hard work already I've re-sleeved them put them in new binder pages let's just go through them shall we so uh as you saw a lot of trainer pages were in the beginning so um you know we'll go through all of them like like there are a wide a range of old Pokemon cards here or vintage great sought after Pokemon cards I mean we got some plus powers from base set, 
uh, Impostor Pro Professor Oak, the Evolution Spray, which is a rare, apparent, which is a rare, um, saw, you know, yes, at the time of recording, uh, yesterday, uh, yes, at the time of recording, PokeRev had opened up the first edition base set booster box so that was a thing got some professor oaks here got a whole page of gust of winds yep yep and yo let me tell you like i was going through my uh, uh, i was going through her cards and the collection and some of these cards just left me like this right i was just like yo like some of y'all i'm excited for some of y'all to like just get into these so Got some more trainers, Gust of Wind, Energy, energy Search, Fossil, Last from Base Set 2, Recycle, Fossil, Pokemon Breeders, some Gym cards, definitely got some Gym cards in here, Base Set 2, right, Energy Removals, Maintenance, here comes Team Rocket, here comes Team Rocket from the Rocket Series, Super Energy Removal, so many cards to look through, more trainers, yeah, you know, Scoop Up, Defender, Gambler, Potions, Classic cards, Professor Elm. Yep, we got some Neo in here. Uh, let's see. Hopefully, you'll see that right. Full heal, Sabrina's Gaze, Super Potion, Pokeball. Uh, what is that? Tr tickling Machine from Team Rocket. Pokey Flute, Moo Moo Milk, Double Gust, Sleep, Mail from Bill, Switch, Recycle. Got a lot of Bills right here. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Bills. You know what I mean. Dollar Dollar Bill, y'all. Saffron City. Got some Gym. Stadium cards, Lieutenant Sergeant Street. All right, here we go. Here we go. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this Fuego? Yo, Fuego right here. Fire. You know what I'm talking about? It's a hound hour, right? Even if it's not a holographic hound hour, it's still a classic, classic Neo card. You got the Hound Doom, Dark Hound Doom from Team Rocket. That's what I'm saying right here. Team Rocket, Dark. Hound Doom, right? Another Dark Hound Doom. That's the non holographic. These are the holographic Dark Hound Dooms right here. Uh, hopefully, this is like a good recording angle for you all. I, I, it wasn't really possible to um, fit the entire binder um, sleeve and still get a good one. But this one, this one right here, let me like, focus on that. That's a classic Hound Doom. Yo, if I saw one of these in English, I would swoop on that. Yo. Like, a lot of these cards right here made me very, very nostalgic for all of it. Oh, you'll notice I took my glo uh, took the gloves off because I sleeved all the club cards on with gloves. But because they're all sleeved now, um, I, you know, I'm just going to use my hands. But Houndoom. Houndoom is one of the sickest Pokemons ever. I really liked the aesthetic of Houndoom. Here we go. We've got Evolutions page. We've got Rockets EV, Dark Flareon, Dark Jolteon, Dark Vaporeon. She went with a Darks right here. Even Dark Espeon. Dark Espeon. Yo, I have this card because of a Craigslist ad, but it is nowhere near the condition that she has it in. Here. Don't worry, there's a KMC sleeve right here. Like, Dark Espeon. She has it in such good condition, too. Look at the back. The back is so minty. Like, this would fetch a pretty penny for sure if it was graded, but even just like raw, it would still get very, very well. She doesn't have a dark Umbreon, but Umbreon's a dark type already, so that counts, right? It's also holographic, yes. Glaceon, Glaceon, Legion, and then, you know, extras right here in the back. Again, she has cards that I don't have. Y'all ready for this? This is, this is the OG. This is, this is the big three right here. Big three, Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur from Base Set Unlimited. Come on, zoom in. Sorry, there's a bit of a glare um, just because of the plastic and all this lighting. You'll notice it took me a while because the lighting has changed, so the sun is in a different part of the sky now, plus it got really, really foggy all of a sudden. But hopefully that's in really good zoom because these are in pretty good condition. Uh, backing isn't the best on these. Um, they're not the best, but that's okay because the fact is that I don't have the Charizard. She has two base set unlimited Charizards. I don't have any. But yo, Kanto, big three. Okay, y'all ready for this? We're going into fire here. 
nine tails. She has three nine tails. So that would be seven, 27 tails, 27 tails. But the one that I really want to look at right here is this dark Typhlosion from Neo Destiny because this dark Typhlosion right here, yes, I believe the uh, price on the dark Typhlosion is only like maybe 10 to $15 raw, but this is a really, really clean card. Like I don't want to take it out of the sleeve, but if you look at it, there's not very much whitening on, on this card. A uh, small little nick down here, but like I was looking at it, the hollow has no scratches. You can't really see it very well, but this is a really good card. Actually, I was going to double sleeve this, so. Let me grab some of my good sleeves up because I forgot I was going to show this one off and then double sleeve it. So yes, because these, this is a card that needs to be kept in very, very good condition. Gently sleeve that up. That is a Fuego card right there. If she wanted to get that, if she wanted to get that graded, I would suggest that because I would get that graded at some point. All right. We got some grass energy types right here. Got the vile plume from jungle. Nice. I don't, I don't know if I have that. I don't think I have that dark Arbok. Got a muck. Not hollow Scyther, Needle Queens, Dark Arbok, non hollow, Butterfree, non hollow, and a Muck, non hollow. But that is really, really cool, right? Like, again, some of these cards I don't have. Coming in with some water Pokemon. Nice. So, up top, we got Holographic Gyarados from base set, Neo Destiny, Light Azumarill. And a Vaporeon from Jungle. We got Sabrina's Gold Duck. Told you we had some gems in here. Non Hollow Lapras, Non Hollow Vaporeon. But I do want to look at, at Azumarill. Because Azumarill from Neo Destiny, Light Azumarill, is insane. Because uh, it's a small nick up there. But otherwise, very, very good condition. I think Neo Destiny was the only set that had light and dark type attribute Poke. Or, Light and dark type Pokemon in the Pokemon title in the same set. Otherwise, because you don't see light uh, light Pokemon very often. We have the colorless energy types. Classic, Chansey, Kangaskhan, Ditto, non Hollow Snorlax, Dragon Knight, Dragonair from base set, Dark Dragon Knight, Clefable, Pidgeot, in the back, I think we got some dupes, yeah. So, she just got a second Hollow Kangaskhan, Dragonair, Dragonite, Clefable, all these are sleeved. I needed to sleeve them all just because, like, just because they're not my cards doesn't mean that I don't want to help my friend take care of them. Psychic types, coming in hot. We've got base set Mewtwo, Neo Unknown A, Fossil, Hypno, Sabrina's Gengar, Gengar from Fossil, non hollow hypno but Mewtwo Mewtwo is a classic but the Neo set again one of the reasons why I'm so excited about the Neo set is because the Neo set is super hard to come by um it's a very rare type uh or not rare type but like it's super like those some of those packs are worth a good chunk of money because they're super hard to find nowadays like you can find base set unlimited and fossil and jungle pretty well but like Neo Neo goes for like somewhere around a good 200 bucks a pack, depending on which set you're looking at. Classic, Zapdos and Electrodes right here. Nice, nice. These are all non-holographic, but that's okay. Still vintage Wizards of the Coast. Coming in with the ground types. Three, first edition Machamps. Machamps was the, I think you got it in the two player starter sets. These aren't shadowless. Um, uh, Machamp was the only English print uh, first edition that had shadows because if it has a first edition stamp on it from base set If it says first edition and they're American printed they those were First edition shadowless and that is very very difficult to find you got some hitmon Lee's right here Bruce Lee uh, Hitmon Chan Jackie Chan hit on top non hollow aerodactyl and dark Dodrio. got some in the back got a Brox Rhyhorn right here two Kapu Tops, hit non hollow Hitmon Lee, and another Aerodactyl. Classic, classic cards. Whew. I'm excited about this next page. It's not my page, 
or my pages, but I'm excited about this next page because we have promo cards. Got the Entei promo from Pokemon the movie Enter the Unknown. Um, Pokemon, Pokemon the first movie promo cards right here with the Dragonite, the Mewtwo, and the Electabuzz. Still remember going to that movie and getting some. Got a Mew promo, Zapdos promo, and holographic Meowth promo card, which I don't know where it's from, but if you look at it, it does say GB. Uh, so it could be from a Game Boy. Um, it does say GB in the corner. So maybe it's a Game Boy promo. Not sure. Not quite sure. I'll look that up. I'll put it in like, you know, a tagline. But what I wanted to show off was this reverse rare or reverse holographic Nido King and reverse holographic Muck. Because these two are um the first this is from the first set that had reverse holographics set up in them and that is from if you look at it here this medallion type logo the, the medallion type logo is for legendary collection which is sort of like a reprint of all the classic cards from uh jungle fossil and i think team rocket as well uh, had some cards from there too so base jungle fossil like the classic um popular cards from Jungle Fossil Base and Team Rocket were all in here. And these are the reverse holographics, like firework explosives. You see that? That is so cool, right? And these cards, the Legendary Collection is super hard to come by. Very super limited print. Uh, one box will go upwards of $10,000. It's super hard to come by. And then you got some uh, Neo Island Onyx here, I think. Southern Island is what it's called. Mewtwo and Dragonite. But these right here, that, these are worth because I can find the price of like the regular card, but I don't know if I can like easily determine the price of a reverse holographic uh, card because that's gonna range. The next page. The next page comes from my collection. These, I, these are pages that I gave her. And these are pages that I'm most excited about because these are cards that I pulled. I opened these packs myself and I remember opening these packs because I remember the Reg... Focus on that. Registeel EX. Rockets Sneasel EX. I remember these cards. Rockets Articuno EX. I remember these cards. And I remember like trying to think, I was like, yo, if I got the Rockets Articuno, I want the Rockets Moltres EX. I want the Rockets Zapdos EX. Even though Articuno is probably like the most popular one, my favorite is the Moltres because fire. Um, and I remember these cards. This is an EX. This is the EX page. I remember that because this is when EX first came out and they were the lowercase EX cards. Reg Reggie Rock EX right here. Got the Vile Plume EX. And then I remember, remember, I remember getting the Venusaur EX. This is from the Fire Red and Leaf Green pack. And I remember, I, I looked at the symbol and I think PokeRev also opened up one of the box. He has a video where he opens up the, he does a booster box break. And I saw the symbol and I was like, I have cards from those sets. I remember that set, right? The Electabuzz EX right here. Wasn't from that same Fire Red and Leaf Green, but this is from Fire Red and Leaf Green. This is from Team Rocket's Returns. Uh, Team Rocket Returns. Back in the era, apparently people say that this era was when Pokemon was on a decline, but I remember opening up these packs so often. And these are like these cards right here. Oh man, this is my childhood because I actually remember opening these packs. A lot of people have like, you know, nostalgia for uh, Wizards of the Coast, um, like Neo and base set in that generation my generation is fire red leaf green because that's when i remember the most opening packs the most often more packs more cards from that era yo jirachi from deoxys right here sorry that's probably where my face is at face is probably covering jirachi from deoxys dark steelix this is the reverse holographic because it has the logo on it but it's still so cool because the reverse holographic looks sick as well Right? Dark Tyranitar, also reverse hol... Let me take that out for y'all. Dark Tyranitar, reverse holographic. Right? Yo, that is so sick. Because the name and the HP and the, lo and the 
and the attribute symbol is also holographic. All right, you know what? I know it's it's a lot of reflection. It's a lot of glare, and I'm sorry about that. Um, but see, like. It shines, it all shines. And I, I was so intrigued and fascinated and excited when I was a kid to pull these cards. Uh, even if they were just reverse holographics, right? The reverse holographics still looked sick because they had the the pack, the set printed on it, right? Multi-energy, this is fr this is also reverse holographic. Uh, you can tell, um, oh man, I sleeve these too well. I wanted to protect them. The reverse holographic on this multi-energy, please focus, right? You can tell because if you can faintly, very, very faintly see that there is a Pokeball symbol here, right? That is, see, can you see that? Hopefully you can see that. The Pokeball symbol is the same as the set symbol, and that's how you can tell that it's a reverse holographic uh, um, because it has that Pokeball symbol there. Right? Otherwise, you could think that it's a normal, regular holographic. Plus, uh, reverse holographics, please focus. Also, on the holographic part, it has all the attributes. See that? There's a water. There's a dark type, I think. There's the fighting symbol. Steel. Steel was a big thing. This is a reverse uh, holographic bounce energy, but it still looks so cool. Right? It's from the E-Series. Another dark electrode, dark, or I don't, I don't think we had the first one, but this is the dark electrode. This is a reverse holographic. Shedinja from Deoxys. See, again, this is back when they stamped the set on the reverse holographics, right? Got a guard of war. This is from Emerald, I believe. Holographic, right? And then, you know, like the Team Aqua's Manetric, reverse holographic, camera up. Nido King is a holographic card. This is a regular hollow, right? Even though it's fire red and leaf green, but Marowak is a reverse holographic. Same set. Again, you see that? The set symbol right here in the shiny, in the text box, that's how you can tell it's a reverse holographic for some of these. Uh, Team Magma's Torkoal. Team Magma's Torkoal, Team Aqua's Wall Rain, and Team Aqua's Sharpedo. So I saw this. Uh, I don't know if one of you, if you saw the earliest eBay watching videos or something, eBay collection videos. I saw this and I was like, yo, I remember having that. I want to get it again. And so I bought a collection just because I recognized a few cards from the sets that I had. Coming up on the final, final page. Oh man, this, this collection brought back a whole lot of memories. And I'm sorry if this video is super long, but I'm, I'm just enjoying this so much. And I hope you're enjoying it as well. Uh, got the jungle Japanese pincer, Japanese dark vile plume, got a dung trio, uh, Japanese Sabrina, time capsule, computer search, Clefairy doll, and more reverse holographics from Team Rocket Returns. This is a dark dragonite. This looks so cool. Dark Flaffy, Lucario, got a ditto. Apparently, ditto. They had. Like, Ditto had so many of these in different types of Pokemon. It was, like, every type. They had a Pikachu one, Charmander, Squirtle, different types. It was a whole set. I think I saw someone online with, like, a very complete set, and I was like, huh, that's a pretty cool thing to collect. Um, cast Forms. More Cast Forms. And an Unknown. Yo, like... Oh, man. Going through this set again just brought back so, so many memories. So many memories. And I hope, I hope you all enjoyed looking at my friend's collection with me because I enjoyed just going through my collection as well. Um, hopefully that was a lot of fun for you all. And I'm going to go ahead and give this back to my friend before I edit. I'll, I'll tally up a total and I'll probably, uh, ring up, um, like a, a cut to something post editing and talking about it, about the prices and stuff like that. But I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all, it brought back some memories for you. If you collected cards from this era, definitely brought back a lot of memories for me. Hopefully you could see it on my face. You could probably see it on my face. Um, and I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, and if this is post cut, I'll record a outro, whatever. 
Hope you all enjoyed that. I will see you on Monday for another sealed package opening for Rebel Class, Sword and Shield, and stuff like that. Um, but hope you all have a safe weekend. Stay safe, have fun, and take it easy. Okay? Make smart choices, and I'll see you for the next one on Monday. Bye-bye now.